Are you ready to learn about mallow? So we're going to focus on common mallow, which is a little different than marshmallow, only in the fact that marshmallow is taller and tends to grow in swampy areas where this common mallow grows uh, closer to the ground and we live here in a dry Utah desert and uh, it grows everywhere. So you've probably seen both of them maybe where you live or maybe you've just seen one of them. And Dr. Christopher t said that, um, you know, he talked about how a lot of people are trying so hard to always yank it out of the ground. You can see that I yanked this little sample and it's got a long taproot and I didn't get all of it. So there's more down there and it just keeps coming back. And he said, we should be grateful that it keeps coming back because it is kind of an amazing herb. It's um, very mucilaginous. Like you can take these leaves and chew them up and they're, you, you'll just taste that they're, they kind of have that mucilage that is going to be soothing to your digestive system. Um, they are also a natural expectorant, so helping to kind of move, move the, the mucus out of your lungs when you need that kind of thing. Uh, they're just, it's just a great herb all around. One of my favorite stories that Dr. Christopher told was how he would use uh, marshmallow when somebody had gangrene and he um, t there's a story where really honestly somebody was going to lose their leg and so they called Dr. Christopher in he went over and he made a hot tea with the marshmallow or not the marshmallow but anyway the mallow um, whether it was this or marshmallow they both kind of they have similar properties so uh, Anyway, he did that and he would um, put their leg into the hot marshmallow bath and then into cold water. And the whole idea there was to, um, to help with the circulation but also get the power of the herbs uh, pulled into the leg so that uh, the, the, this person was getting all, the, all of the benefits. And by using the hot and the cold, it was kind of pushing and pulling the the circulation to really help that along. Anyway, he you know saved several gangrenous legs. Um, the cool thing was that when I was at my master herbalist seminar, I actually met a gal who had read that and had helped her grandpa by helping to save his legs. Same situation. So so really an interesting story. Uh, all right, so how do you find these? Well, it's easy. You just look around because um, common mallow is all over the place. Just keep your eyes open. Like I said, deep tap roots so it comes back easily. You're going to find it all kinds of places. Happy hunting and come back for another video.